Kochimbova of Czechoslovakia goes on the inside, then Bryant of America, Kratochvilova in lane three, in lane four, Penigina, the Russian number one, lane five, Gabi Busman of West Germany, lane six, Marita Payne of Canada, lane seven, Rubsam of East Germany, lane eight, Vaska Kova of the Soviet Union. It's the girl on the inside, the Czech number two, Kochimbova, very, very useful athlete indeed, and they'll have a good relay team. Rosalind Bryant, the American record holder, goes in lane number two. In lane number three, the girl who's run the second fastest 400 metres ever, Kratochvilova, going for a second gold medal. That's Penigina of the Soviet Union, the World Student Games champion. Not moving up to lane five, Gabi Busman, the West German number one. Lane six, Marita Payne, who broke the Canadian record yesterday in qualifying. Lane seven, Rubsem of East Germany, the 1979 European junior champion, and Baskakova of the Soviet Union on the outside. The World Championship 400 metres final. Prototvilova going for a second gold and going quite positively. It's closed right down now on one of her main rivals, Pinigina. Into the back straight, wind slightly behind, and Pinigina beginning to respond. And Marita Payne going well for Canada in lane six. On the inside, Kochimbova has run a very fast first 200 metres. And the battle is really on now, and this is where strength tells. And Kratochvilova has surely got it. It looks very fast indeed. Pinigina fighting like mad against the power of the Czech. But Kratochvilova leads. Kratochvilova on the inside. It's still Kratochvilova coming away for her second goal. And it's going to be Czechoslovakia 1-2. And, and could it be a new world record? Kratochvilova wins. Kratochvilova in second place. Pinigina third. And the world record has gone. The first woman ever inside 48... Marita Cox record has gone, and Czechoslovakia not only get the world record and the world championship, but they get gold and silver. A fantastic run, and really the world record was made possible by the running of the Soviet athlete Pini Gina, who really fought back, but faded in the end to third place. Just look at the build of Kratochvilova. Built almost like a field event athlete. Kratochvilova for a moment looked to be under threat here from her number two, but then the power was turned on and away she went. And as she came down that straight, I'm quite sure she could see the top ticking away in front. It's just beyond the finish, and she knew the world record was possible. So, Beaten previously by Marita Koch in the Olympic Games and in the European Championship, she now has the satisfaction of taking the world record back from Marita Koch, who decided not to run the 400 metres, but to concentrate on the sprints. As a matter of fact, David, I think Stan Greenberg lost his nerve on that one. He was saying it's incredibly fast, but he wouldn't say just how fast it was at 200. It was 23.2 at 200, and Stan would hardly commit himself because it was devastatingly fast. Never been through that fast before. So what a range she's got. 200, 400, and 800. World champion, and really, she looks a world champion every inch of her. That is superb sprinting at the end of a race that was once called a man-killer. It's a great double. Just thinking back uh, when David was uh, mentioning at the beginning of commentary that uh, it's difficult to compare. The last great 400-800 runner we had, of course, was Anne Packer in the 64 Olympics. She had a day between, but uh, I wonder what she's thinking of this sprinting if she's watching this up in Cheshire with Robbie Brightwell.